the COVID-19 pandemic has pushed tens of millions of people around the world to work from home. And this has opened new doors and opportunities in the future of working and living. Now employers and employees are thinking differently about the location of the workplace. From now on, it's hard to imagine being locked into the office. Let me introduce you to China. Jana's company transitioned to working completely remotely during the pandemic alongside a lot of other companies. After the pandemic ended, Jana's workplace decided to offer a hybrid model for their employees, which means that they can freely combine the benefits of working from home and working from the office as well. 70% of the employees would like to work from home in some way in the near future. Joanna is one of them. She and her husband try to spend the most possible time with their daughter, the three years old Laura. But it's not so easy for them to manage. Joanna's husband travels a lot for work and usually work quite a long hour. They have very short and precious time together to spend as a family, so they have to manage their schedules as well. When Joanna works from home with Laura, she faces complex difficulties. According to her own confession, it's not rare for her to work until night time because she forgets to take breaks, except when she's interrupted by Laura. She adapts her day to Laura's schedule and needs, so she doesn't let take a lot of breaks for herself. During the pandemic, a lot of people who work from home confessed that they struggled with anxiety caused by the isolation and the lack of proper schedule. Joanna experiences the same when she stays at home with Laura. She finds that the roots of her problems lie in the lack of a routine and working schedule. She thinks organizing her schedule well could make her more productive and give her more me time, but simply doesn't have the time to figure it out. So the question is up to us. How might we use data to assist remote working parents in maintaining their personal well-being while they balance work and childcare? In the field of working from home, the collected data gives us oceans of possibilities to improve the user's well-being for working in a remote scenario. Our laptop screen, camera, and microphone often examine our actions during the day and we don't even notice. Joanna is on a hunt to find a solution for her problems. Where our solution comes in, Remotive. Remotive is a smart scheduler for Google Calendar. Let's see how it helps Joanna. Joanna's office uses Google Calendar for their work meetings. This is how usually it looks like for her everyday job. She decides to work remotely on Friday, and this time she decides to use a smart scheduler. She clicks on Friday column and selects Add Schedule. A questionnaire pops up which helps Joanna set her preferences for the day, such as work style, possible companions, and forms of recreation. She shares her calendar with her spouse and the nanny, because sometimes she needs some help during the day, and with Remotive's Collaborate option, she can easily plan with others. With machine learning algorithm, Calendar learns from Joanna's personal data and charts out a schedule tailored to her preferences. She tweaks some timings quickly to best fit her plans. With the cube effect, she can now view her personal schedule right there in her work calendar, without being overwhelmed by the amount of tasks she has to complete. She can change the view to default when she prefers seeing both schedules together. Joanna can view her spouse's and nanny's schedule for the day. With the sharing option, she can collaborate with them and manage the childcare efficiently. While working outside of the calendar app, Joanna receives smart notifications that motivate her. Work-related notifications save Joanna's time by providing meeting links, files, and relevant information along with the reminders. Calendar uses computer vision and sends her well-being notifications depending on her stress levels, screen time, movements, and break timings. Joanna can opt to take a break when prompted and avoid being burned out by work. A small break with one minute breathing sets her up for the next meeting. At the end of the last task on the calendar, she receives a summary of her organized day. She feels satisfied with her performance and happily unplugs from the work duties. Joanna finds that after the first day of using the smart schedule, she felt different. She realized that her day was more organized than before. So after she put Laura to sleep, she could spend her free time doing whatever she wanted. No more late night working. Joanna's spouse appreciates that he can look through Joanna's calendar because he can find more time to spend with them by organizing his meetings better. The boundaries between work and personal life are getting more defined. She can enjoy the luxury of self-care moments without compromising her work or parenting. And the more she uses the smart scheduler, the more accurate it becomes, thanks to machine learning and AI. So reclaim your work-life balance with Remotive.